kicks it away, and it'll be a brief header there by Barons, as also Reagan Robbie is there as well. Ball goes out of bounds. And it looks like it'll be Gwen Lane who will throw it in for the Cornhuskers. Off the throw in, and it'll be deflected out of bounds by CC Barons. Lane again on the throw in. And this time she tries to find Sarah Weber. She is swarmed defensively by a couple of Omaha defenders as Crockett and Marissa Gore were in there defensively for Omaha. Another nice heads up play for Omaha, Grace Crockett. Kicked that one off of Sarah Weber, the Cornhusker, and gave possession to the Mavericks. So it'll be Crockett on the throw in for Omaha. Header there by Belzile. Now it'll be Crockett who will just kick it out of bounds. And Gwen Lane on the throw-in. Finds Bell's Isle, and she is tripped up. Lane and Fenton is there as well for Omaha. Ball comes across the center line. Now across the center circle. Played along by Jordan Zade. Zade now kicks it over towards the box. And it's going to be a header by Zimmers. And now it'll be right to the foot of Haley Peterson. Tells her... Fetzman to back away. Bell's Isle gets it in towards the box, and it'll be Retz who will just scoop it up. And out over towards the left wing to number 23, Gwen Lane. And now Bell's Isle over towards the box. And now here's a shot attempt, and it's just wide to the left of the net. Another offensive opportunity turned aside as that was Sarah Weber there on the shot for the Cornhuskers. Possibly a chance here offensively for Omaha. And, ooh, and Marissa Gore gets tripped up on the play as it was Gwen Lane who was there defensively. And we'll have a bevy of substitutions for both teams. It'll be number 23, Reagan Bourgeois, who checks into the game for Omaha, for Alyssa Hansen. And Abby Schwartz will come in for Lawrence Belzile. And then Briley Hill will come in for Jordan Zade. And Retz sends it out towards the center line. Header there by Quinn Lane and out of bounds. It'll be Crockett that'll throw it in. And yeah, as you said, about 10 and a half minutes to go exactly. And still no score between the two teams. And But I think that you kind of expected that, though, here in this exhibition game. It has been very physical, to say the least. But both teams have had their chances offensively, but have not been able to convert. And again, I think that that kind of just goes back to that rust factor that it is really kind of the first action that both teams have seen all year off the throw in. Both teams still trying to fight for it, and we will have a whistle down on the fishing game that they'd probably be a little bit lenient, little wouldn't, lenient. wouldn't you think? Yeah, you would think so. You never know. Peterson, and now Belzile, and now Crockett just booms it up into the air. Over towards the back. Grace Thede will come back into the game for Omaha. will come in for Gunderson. Ball goes out towards the center circle. And also Sarah Weber will check into the game as well for Allison Napora. The Nemnich ball goes in towards the right corner and it will be kicked out of bounds by number 23 for the Cornhuskers, Gwen Lane. And Grace Crockett will throw it in for Omaha. Looks like they're going to opt to go for a deep pass into the box here from Crockett. And why not with just a little over five and a half minutes to go. And ball goes out towards the box. And it is going to be grabbed by Hauk. Now Schwarz. Right into the foot of Jordan West. Thede. Back to West. Nice job. And Reagan Zimmers, ooh, she is hurt. And a whistle is going to be called. 
she took a hard tumble when she went up for that header and she knew she was hurt right away. Yeah, she put her hand in the air. Just tried to get up. We're gonna stretch her out a little bit. And it looks like Weber. And now over in the left wing, number 23, Gwen Lane. Lane now kicks it over towards the box. Header, and oh. it's off the post. And another near miss offensively for the Cornhuskers. Ball goes out towards center. Played along by Jordan Zaid. That was Eleanor Dale on the shot there for the Cornhuskers. Right off the right post. And it just would not go. A little over four minutes left. 20 shots combined between the two teams. 10 for Omaha, 10 for Nebraska.